Hey everybody, it's Party Elite, and today we're getting some more Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2 action in with some skirmishing, playing as the Asuriani, either again or for the first time for the channel. Um, I don't know if I've put up my other battles or not, I've been, you know, kind of picky about what's been entertaining or not entertaining. <laughs> So who knows, but this is among my first four or five games as the Asuriani. I've been enjoying them a little bit. I've got a certain build that I enjoy, and while I don't have any particular love for any sub-faction, I have no allegiances here, I like the color scheme over here of the Ulthwe, so that's what we're going to go with. And we have this custom fleet of mine from the Ashes, three Phoenix ships. If I can be nimble enough, if I can be quick enough, that gives me a decent success rate. Uh, I think I'm about 50-50. I haven't played that many games yet. I'm still familiarizing myself with the game as a whole, if I'm perfectly honest, um, but I've been enjoying it a lot. I didn't play too much of the first one, by which I mean I played maybe uh, two, three hours of the first one. I've enjoyed it, and I actually literally bought it a month before one of the closed alphas happened for the for BFGA2 because I just couldn't resist. I couldn't wait any longer. So that's actually the extent of my experience with uh, Battlefield Gothic Armada as a whole. I've been spending this weekend kind of learning um, you know, playing a game here, playing a game there. It's been a busy weekend, so I haven't been able to just sit down and play for multiple hours straight and familiarize w myself with everything. So I've just been learning as I go, and I thought I'd make some videos. I'll be having a, uh, a, a beta impressions video coming out sometime soon, hopefully. Uh, that will, or maybe it's already out by the time this video is out, but that'll encompass my entire impression of this beta and how I feel about BFGA2 and you know if I recommend buying it yet or how I feel about it as we move into the next beta that's happening in January. The game itself releases in January as well if I recall correctly and uh, I do want to give a big thanks to the developers for giving me a free key not only for the full game but also as a result of that for these early access betas as well. It really helps me get a good impression of the game, get a good idea of the game I mean uh, so I can actually review it properly and fairly when the time comes. Uh, it means I can actually be skilled enough to review it and aware enough of all the mechanics and stuff uh, to give preview opinions and review opinions. Now this is actually a pretty ideal situation for me. I can get these two points rather easily. Hopefully the enemy is going to go for these three points over here and I can turn around and start taking care of them. Um, we are very kite based. Activate this before I forget and activate this before I forget so I can move around, dance around and uh, fire away and uh, should have a good time. Again, I've had a decent success rate with this, uh, just these three Phoenix ships and that might actually be one of my complaints with the, the beta and with the game as a whole. But again, more on that in my actual impressions video. Here we're going to see some, some good old space battle action. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this format. I'm still not sure what I want to do in terms of a format for this game. Uh, so let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. If you'd like to see more, you know, 1v1s and 2v2s and stuff like that, let me know. My hope is by the time the next beta happens and then by the time the game actually releases, I'll be able to play, um, I'll be able to play with people in the Discord. Um, there's a lot of you who've been, you know, waiting for this game, and I'm very well aware of that. I've been waiting for this game, and I'm looking forward to actually playing PvPs and 2v2s, maybe hosting some internal Discord tournaments, stuff like that. It'll be a, a lot of fun, especially because the games are so short. They're, like, between... I think the longest I've had is a 19-minute game, and that's mainly because the other person didn't GG, which is fine. But, uh, what that means to me is that uh, I'm... I will be able to organize something... You know, with a hectic schedule that I have. Anyway, for now, let's stay focused over here. Capture this point. Capture that point. Uh, maybe let's send out our little probe here. See what the hell's going on. These guys look like they're moving towards what? They're just moving straight down. Put the probe over here. Hopefully, we'll see what's going on. It might be a bad angle, actually. And these three. Everything looks about the same speed. So, it looks like everything's about the same um, class of ship. We'll find out. That probe will hopefully give us some information. We're moving up over here. We're you good over here. Captured that. Area. Excellent. I'm not going to get too adventurous. Let's move Where the winds guide. The over the side here. A strategic area. Okay, we're going to capture that one too, hopefully, pretty quickly. We'll see. we'll see what we're up against here. Yeah, that probe might actually... No, we'll, we'll get some good vision. Looks like they're turning I around, actually. Ready. But I will hopefully be able to catch something over here. And then I can, my, my aim is to target everyone's engines and shut that nonsense down first. Can take care of everything else later. Did they just fire a probe? Get all the focus set first. Alright, what are we up against here? Three cruiser murders. I can imagine this is also a cruiser murder. Fair enough. But well, let's get ourselves ready here to fire as soon as possible. We do have lock on target active. So stay put up to here. 
Again, I want to get head-on shots as early as possible, and then I want to do strafing runs, basically. There we go, get these shots happening right away. Oof, the range here. Got these ships coming in from the side over here. Looks like something stealthing through. I don't appreciate. Getting these shots area. in over here, though. All right. Hopefully, we can get some shots off to the side here as well. Engine damage. That's not a good start. Wonder if we should kind of get out of this really rough situation here. Some volleys over here doing a fair bit of work. Do not like. Get these bombers out. A bit of damage being done over there. Move oh my we god. Understand. We are being sandwiched over here. I don't like this. Let's get out. Get out. Turn around. Our foe is here. And let's spread the love a little bit. Let's we fire down over here. They're out of shields. No. Let's go. Lightning strike. Use their efficiency. Oh, there's the flagship. The stasis bomb over to here. For the craft world. Dodge these bombs, please. You're going to get stuck in there. That's too bad. But nothing I can do about that right now. Shut that fire off. Okay, let's go up that way. Pop that, actually. Get some distance for ourselves. And turn you around right afterwards. Hope we can keep these shots going down over here. Got another small ship over there. Okay, let's go. Getting some good damage in here, so that's good. Getting some lag as well. That frame rate drop is ridiculous. Pop that over here. If we can drop that flagship nice and early, that would be absolutely huge for us. Shots in here as well. Come on. The enemy has seized a strategic Come on, this area. is a golden opportunity. Yes, nice. That explosion will help us out a bit as well. Uh, not as much as I'd hoped. Can't run repairs yet. Oof, this lag. This is this is a ridiculous amount of lag. Move over this way. Down goes that one. Let's uh, turn ourselves around this way. Let's go. We start firing way over here. Cause some damage there. Uh, or actually, you know what? Let's focus over here. This is already damaged. We can hopefully finish you off pretty easily. Lightning strikes. You're almost ready for it. One, two, and three. All right. Reduce their efficiency. And let's turn around and move this way. Oh, this... Uh, frame rate is actually quite crazy. I think we need to rush. Let's go. I do not like this. Oh, I don't like this one bit. Keep moving. Let's keep moving. Oh, that's not good. It goes our flagship. All right, well, let's see what we can do here. If we can't keep moving and shooting and keep ourselves fighting here. We should be able to get some good damage in. Four seconds so we can rush away. I don't want to collide here. There we go. Turn ourselves around. Get some good volleys in here. We'll be able to drop that pretty easily as well. It is on fire, which is helpful, of course. Firing away. I need to be able to get repairs done. There we go. All right. So work in. This one should drop pretty soon. We are very low on points, so we have to come out on top in terms of destroying the ships. All right, let's fire over here. Oh, dear. Okay. This is not good. Let's go. <laughs> Good shots back there. Deck damage. That's good. Turn around. You know what? Focus on this ship. Let's go. Get broadsides from both sides. Get a fair bit of work done, hopefully. Pour it away. There we go. Good stuff. Engine destroyed. That thing should fall pretty soon. Pull you down this way so we can fire over here. We got a mutiny going on over there. That's being shot at. This is being shot at still, I hope. No. <laughs> no mutinies. Come 
Come on, we've got this. This should be destroyed pretty easily. There we go. Got some shots in there, and then we can turn around and fire over there. Nice. Repairs over here. Don't need to fire. Thank you very much. Turning around this way. Not having my, uh... Not having my flagship is hurting, that's for sure. Come on, we've got this. This dance is, uh, hilarious. I'm a little worried about the whole point situation right now, but, uh... It is what it is. Damaged engines over here. I don't like that. The enemy has accumulated 50% of strategic points. Let's go. Come on. Dumb this thing down. Getting some good shots in here, I think. Work on this thing instead. Oh, this isn't good. We're so low on we're so low on troops over here. Dark stars in flight. Come on. Our foe is here. All right, we're behind it, so that should help us quite a bit. Fire into its back. There we go. Good shots. Keep turning. Keep firing into its back. Maybe we can hit this thing as well. Come on, baby. There we go. Give me a shot in there. Me firing over here, disengaging. Is everything disengaging? Is this the V? That's the V. Thank you very much. Well played, good sir. Ghost face dark mecha. Love the name. That was. I was not sure that I was going to win that one. I was not sure that I was going to win that one. But, uh. Oh, wait. Is that a fake? Is that a fake out GG? No, there we go. This is the last one we have to kill. Uh, he's maybe looking for the capitulate button, but that's okay. Ooh. I was so sure that I was going to lose that one, but it worked out for us in the end there. Once we lost our flagship, I was extremely concerned, but we got their flagship first. All we need to do now is, I think, destroy this one, and we should be okay. Get a couple of nice clean shots over here. Get a nice explosion shot. Be nice. All right. Fire on board. One more volley should do the trick. There it is. Beautiful explosions. This game has some of the most gorgeous explosions, and there it is. There's the V. There's the W. There's the whatever you want to call it. Hope you guys had a good time watching this. Uh, again, just familiarizing myself with the game. Trying to find a nice format to cover it on the channel as well. Uh, maybe do some live streams when we get tournaments and stuff going on. And when the game's actually officially released. But that was a fun game. Taking down the Black Legion. Uh, feels good. Feels good. Yeah, my, my rank is just... Okay. Well, hey, you know, we're working on it. We're working on it. Good game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know. Drop a like, drop a comment. Makes a very big difference, as I'm sure you're very well aware by now, those of you that frequent this channel. Massive thanks, of course, to all of my patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis, and channel members as well. Thank you very much for supporting. Every month, it makes a massive difference. Until next time, thank you all very much for watching, and cheers.